All right, guys, so I'm gonna be showing you how to uh, properly cure some spawn. Caught a nice female schnook downtown today, and I got her, her eggs all laid out right here. And then this is what it's gonna look like, all separated. I'm just gonna put my gloves on because I don't want any scent getting on the eggs. So they stay as natural as possible. Alright, so the first thing you want to do with the skein, when you take it out, you're gonna want to butter. You're gonna want to separate all these eggs right here. Just take a plastic spoon, just like that, and then just slowly scrape them, and all the eggs are gonna start coming loose, just like that. Just how you see it right there. Just like that, once you got your, your separate your eggs and they're all separate like that, they're gonna look real nice just like that right here. They're gonna be nice and separated. I'm gonna fast forward through this process through me just scraping them singly and I'll get back to you guys with the next step. Okay guys, so now I have my single eggs. I threw them in my Ziploc bag and I'm using Potsky's Boraxifier. So basically you just open up your bag and you just sprinkle them. I already threw a little bit in there, but you basically just sprinkle it. You can't overdo it, so just sprinkle as much as you want. Usually, if it's your first time doing it, just do enough. Make sure you're generous with it. So they should all be covered up really good like that. And then just close up your bag and shake them around. So zip your bag up nice and tight. Get your spawn eggs. Get your single eggs and start tossing them around in that bag. And you should start blending really nice with your salmon eggs. You'll be able to see that. Usually, what I like to do is I'll I'll take them out of the fridge like every 10 minutes and toss them around for a little bit. I'll do that for like the first hour. So I'll do I'll do around 10 trips, 10 turns of tossing them around, and sometimes I'll add more borax if they're still pretty wet. So basically, just toss them around, mix them up, make sure that cure goes, make sure that cure really gets in the eggs. Because the, the better cured your eggs are, the more fish you'll catch. And this, this borax will fire, it comes with borax in it so you can't burn your eggs, which is what's really nice about this. Many people burn their eggs with their, with the fire cure, but this stuff is pretty much idiot proof. So yeah, I'm going to let these cure up, and then I'll get back to you. All right, guys. So I've basically let these cure in the fridge for um, a whole day. I shook them around really well, let them just sit there, get really cured up, and now we're gonna just uh, tie them up in the spawn sacks. And I got a couple going right here. I scooped some onto this tray, and I'm just putting little de little amounts of eggs on each on each little sheet the sheets come in packs just like these they're the spawn nets I just lay them out put a couple of uh, eggs on there and a couple floaties I don't I don't put floats on all of them but this is the first year I'm actually trying it I'm trying them with floats just because I like to experiment see what works best Never be afraid to try something different. So I'm, let me just put my gloves on because I don't want any sense getting on these eggs. That I might throw the fish off. Got just a regular jar. So this one's already been used, but it still smells fishy, so that's good. Oh, let's see. My thread. Got my magic thread. 
Got my magic thread right here. So basically what you do, we'll start with this orange one. You, you just want to pick up the opposite corners of each. So I just pick those two up. And then I get the other two. Just like that. Then I like to twist it a little bit. Just it a couple times, just like that. So it gets them really nice and tight. Then what's really nice about this thread is that all you have to do is just go around. One, two, three, pull a little bit tight. And then one, two, three, do another loop. And then you can just break it right off. And then you got yourself one perfect spawn sack. Now I just need to get my scissors. Okay, so now that I got my spawn sack tied, just like that, I'm just gonna pinch this down, grab my scissors, and cut right above where you made your knot, where you made your tie. You tied it up, and you got a perfectly good spawn sack, just like that. Sorry about my bird clock. So yeah, once again, we're using this Boar Axle Fire Pot Ski Cure. Um, I've been using it ever since I started salmon fishing, and it works really good. I'll go over it again. Um, I like to pair up my spawn floaties the same color as the bag I'm using. Like this chartreuse, this works really good for me on sunny days. So once again, you just take it like this. You just take your spawn sack, you fold it up in the four corners, twist it a little bit so the net tightens them down. Grab your magic thread. Do one, two, three loops, tighten down. Then one, two, three more loops, then break it off. Then you just take your scissors, cut above the wrap, the wrapping you did, just like so. And there's another perfectly good spawn sack. And that one just goes right in there with them. Laid them all out, got them ready. I have all my eggs right here. I'm probably just going to do this batch today and fish out until I'm out and then I'll wrap up some more so yeah thanks for watching uh, give a thumbs up on the video if you thought it was useful I will be posting a video of me actually catching a salmon pretty soon once the full run actually gets here so yeah thanks for watching and please keep subscribing